my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and I'm so glad to have you joining me for another Sunday Reset. In today's video, we're going to be working on my back deck, getting it ready for spring and summer. We're also going to be planting some new flowers and getting my house cleaned up before hosting a Mother's Day brunch the day that you are watching this. I want to start by just saying happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and grandmothers out there and I really appreciate you spending a little bit of your time today with me. I'm getting started today by vacuuming all of the cushions for my sectional out on my back deck. These have been down in my basement. Some of them needed washing, which is what I'm doing now. I was really trying to avoid washing all of them because it is a super pain in the neck to try to get them out of these uh, covers and to get them back on. So if I could avoid it, I did. I only had to wash two. All of the other ones were okay. We're also going to be using a little bit of Scotch Guard on these today because I want to make sure that they are as water resistant as possible. We get a lot of dew where I live and it's really a bummer in the morning when you want to go outside and and enjoy your cup of coffee but everything is wet from the morning dew so we're gonna get these cleaned off then we're gonna take them outside to get them sprayed down with some scotch guard thanks again for being here today I'm going to toss these two into the washing machine. Normally I would also throw in the rug from my powder room as well as the hand towel. However, I'd already washed those. So I'm grabbing the blanket from my couch as well as my dog Charlie's blanket and we're going to get those cleaned up and smelling really good. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to take these outside and we're going to get them sprayed down with some Scotch Guard. Now, as you can see, all over my uh, driveway, there are a bunch of piles, just piles of yellow pollen. It is insane right now, which is why I sound the way that I do because I spent so much time outside yesterday and it is just pollen central right now. The pollen count every day has been high, 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 high. It's just insane. It's beautiful. The weather is amazing. All of our trees are in bloom. The flowers are in bloom. It's just the weather is fantastic and I'm definitely not complaining. However, man, my allergies are really miserable right now. So we're going to use this Scotch Guard outdoor spray. This is actually meant to not only repel rain, but it's also meant to keep the color on your outdoor items by uh, giving them a little bit of UV protection. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the directions and spray these down a little bit. Make sure that you test this on whatever you're using it on. It does darken it just a tiny tad. So if that's going to bother you don't use this um, it does say that it's supposed to dry clear I would say clear however like I said on mine it did darken it just a tad if you've never used Scotch Guard before this is a fantastic product to repel stains and water and I find this stuff to be really really helpful so that's what we're going to do you do have to reapply it every year but that's okay now we're going to move out back here to my deck and we're going to get started by working on my hanging planters here. Now, yes, I recognize these are backwards. I have them facing into the inside of my back deck. However, I want to be able to see the flowers here. So that's why I hung these here this way. I do have a video from last spring when we put these up. So you can check that out if you're interested. Um, I love working outside. I love planting flowers. I love working in my front yard. Maybe one day, eventually, I'll love to have like a vegetable garden. I think it would be fun to quote unquote reap what you sow. Um, I think that'd be a lot of fun. However, right now, that's just 
a lot of maintenance for me and I just don't have the time for it to be honest as a full-time working mom so flowers are what I'm working with here and I have to tell you this year I am so thrilled to see my perennials all coming back in the front yard my hostas have all grown in my hydrangeas are beautiful and full everything just looks really great it's super exciting so stay tuned for a future video where we are going to be cleaning up in the front yard putting down some new mulch i bought some new bushes and flowers to plant so that'll be coming up in a future video but in the meantime i am planting these super tunias here in the back they are a petunia that gets pretty big they do spread they're like a ground cover and I love these because they're really um, hardy and they look really nice and these will spread out and fill in so I'm putting three in each leaving a little bit of space in between because these will just fill in and kind of spill out um, I had these all over my front yard last summer and they were beautiful so this is what I went with for the spring and summer and they're gonna look gorgeous especially here in the next week or two when I bring out my Americana decor and I get some flags in there it's gonna be so pretty now we're gonna work on some pots to put down on the ground here on my uh, deck. So I'm starting off with another little ground cover here. These are also from uh, Walmart. All of my flowers today I picked up at Walmart. I find that their costs are fantastic and they really always have a great selection. So this is an annual, it's called a Bacopa and it was $4.97, like I said, again at Walmart. And the next one I'm going to plant here is a pansy, this beautiful white pansy. And I tried to stick with pretty neutral colors, either white, um, and then I did bring in one purple because I just feel like white, green, and purple look so pretty together. So that's what I'm sticking with for out here. You can see all of this from the inside of my house, so I try to keep it pretty neutral. And I think the white flowers just look so pretty. There is a new line down at Walmart um, of flowers and it's called Bloomables. I've never seen it before. It is out of New Jersey. And I have to say that everything I saw from this company, I absolutely loved. So I picked up this thrift here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's called Sweet Dreams. And it is technically a perennial, so it will come back annually if you take care of it. I didn't realize when I purchased it that it was an annual, so I think I might actually re, uh, well, not repot. I think I might move this to somewhere else. My front yard flower beds are pretty full. However, this might be one that I put down by my mailbox. Our builder is working on getting all of that cleaned up, so we will see. Stay tuned. I don't think it's going to stay in the pot forever. And then the last thing I'm going to plant here is in this large pot, I am planting a new rose. This is another shrub that I picked up from the Bloomables line. It's a Floribunda rose called Bolero, which is their name for it. And it's gorgeous. And the description says this compact rose has the strong fragrance of tropical fruit, which I can 100% say is so true. It smells incredible. It's beautiful, disease resist resistant foliage and a wonderful rose for cutting. So I thought that not only would this make the deck smell incredible, but it would be really pretty to cut these um, for the inside of my house. I did actually purchase another one of these for my front yard as well. And I'm not even kidding when I say my car smelled so good. They really do smell like tropical fruit. So I am so excited about those. So along with all the beautiful foliage around us comes spiders, as I'm sure you guys 
who live anywhere that has a lot of trees or greenery know that this is like non-stop. It's incredible how many different types of spiders there are, how many there are. You clear out the cobwebs, you know, the night before and the next morning they're all back. It's insane. We had spiders in Vegas, but not like this. So what we're going to do now is just flip over the sectional and make sure that there aren't any, um, you know, webs and, you know, families being made down there. And then we're going to do a little bit of bug spray to prevent them from coming. We purchased our sectional kit on Amazon last year. We started off with a conversation set here on the deck with, um, uh, like a love seat and two rocking chairs, but I was like, this is not it. We need way more space than this. And we want to be able to eat out here. So we traded that in for this beautiful set here. It's a sectional as well as a high table to eat at, and it has seating for a lot of people. So it actually works out really well. I'll try to find the link for you on Amazon, see if it's still available, and I'll link it down below, either the exact one or a similar one. I'll see what I can find, but I absolutely love this uh, set. I wish it was a different color, not crazy about the gray, but um, I do wish it was more of a brown, a warmer brown, like a water hyacinth, but that's okay. This was in our price range. We didn't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money. And I don't know if you have done any shopping for outdoor furniture, but it is very expensive. Um, and so we weren't trying to spend too much money. This worked out really well. So we also have that eight by 10 area rug down on the floor. Um, it has been, you know, gotten some sun bleach done to it, but that's okay. It's from Target. It was a nice outdoor jute rug. Um, you can see like the square from underneath the table. That's the original color, but it still held up really, really well, especially considering we did not bring it in for the winter. Um, I, it's so dark, like our, our deck is really dark. And so I didn't want to have that like outside. So I just left the rug out there and it looked, it was fine. It looked really pretty out there over the winter too. So we actually have plans to redo the deck. We want to put down Trex, which is what we have in our front, on our front porch, uh, which is like a vinyl um, you know, plastic. And yes, I've heard that it does get pretty hot. However, we've got this beautiful rug out here, but it's just so much easier to take care of than actual wood. We need to restain this. You have to worry about, you know, it getting faded and dry. And, um, I just don't want to take care of that. I don't want to do all of that. So the other thing is carpenter bees. They love to come make their little nests in the wood. And so, I would like to uh, put down the treks in a nice warm brown color and then paint the railing, um, I think. So stay tuned. Danny and I have been pricing it out. It is definitely a project for the future. I don't know if it's going to happen this summer. I'm trying to talk Danny into a pool, um, but we will see. The other thing too is if you notice, our backyard doesn't have grass. That's because our builder still has to grade our backyard. Um, he was building houses on either side of us. And so we had an agreement that while he was driving, you know, his large excavator back and forth through our backyard, he was going to leave it alone until, you know, he was done and then he would grade the yard. So I was perfectly fine with that. That time has come. He started working on it this last week and, um, we are, that should be finished up here very soon. So he'll finish up with the dirt. He'll lay a little bit of seed, but then we're going to do the rest to overseed it. And that's going to be pretty expensive. So I'm trying not to spend a bunch of money on other things because as you can see, our front yard is beautiful and green and Danny has done such an incredible job with that. I cannot wait to have that in the backyard and that's going to be a lot of, a lot of grass seed. So, um, we'll wait and see how that turns out. But, uh, in the meantime, my eventual future plan is to redo this deck. I'd like it to be bigger as well. If I could, I would do the deck like all the way down to my bedroom, eventually change out the window in my bedroom to some French doors and have an entrance back there. This is our forever home. So one day our kids will all be out and be fun to have a nice like hot tub out there with a door from our bedroom. But you know, we'll see. These are all future, future, future plans.
I picked up this really pretty wood beaded lantern last year at Home Goods from the clearance section because the clasp was broken and that worked for me. I wasn't actually going to do anything with it, but put it out here to look pretty. So absolutely love that. Those pots are from Walmart. I picked them up last year. They do have them again this year. They're from the Better Homes and Gardens line. I think they're so pretty. We're going to pop one here on the table and we are ready to enjoy the back deck again. Moving inside, I'm going to get started by putting this laundry away. I have been doing loads and loads and loads of laundry as usual. Thank you to everybody who sent your laundry tips in last week's Sunday Reset. I'm thinking what we're going to do is nominate uh, a different day to everyone in the family. So um, then we would do, you know, so-and-so's laundry on a certain day. The only problem with that is making sure everyone's like soccer uniforms are done and everything. But I think I could always toss those into a different load of laundry if it was somebody else's. Like I'd like to save my laundry for Sunday so that I have all my work clothes ready to go. So we'll see. I don't know. I figure if we did that, you know, there's seven of us in the family, seven days in the week. Um, some so you have certain kiddos in my family do their own laundry. I have three that could do their own laundry. Technically, probably four that could do their own laundry, even if I just help them get it started so they're not putting too much soap or something. But um, I think that would just be really helpful. And then I hang majority of my clothes to dry. So if it's just my load, I can make sure that, you know, my clothes aren't getting tossed in the dryer because Danny and I really do share the laundry load. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted on what I try and what works and hopefully we'll find a good rhythm. So I'm just going to take a second here to vacuum off the sofa. Like I said, it has been so dusty and there's so much pollen. It is everywhere in my house. So I want to get it cleaned up. It's my daughter and her boyfriend there in the background. They are dog, well, my daughter's dog sitting this weekend. So she's going to go over and hang out with the dog really quick. And I'm going to finish vacuuming here in the living room. We're going to get some dusting done. We're going to get this main space just cleaned up and picked up again before uh, we enjoy a little bit more outside time. I'm just preparing. I am hosting Mother's Day brunch. So just wanted the house to be nice and clean for that. I did a lot of my cleaning Friday night a lot of deep cleaning in the kitchen so that really took some of the load off but just want everything to look nice and cleaned up and there's nothing like vacuum lines on a sofa it just makes everything feel a little extra clean This is a good reminder to dust your faux plants as well. Of course, we always want to make sure we're wiping down the leaves of our real house plants so that they can get the proper amount of sun. However, don't forget those faux plants. This fiddly fig, I, it, I have to dust this thing all the time. It collects all of the dust. Um, I should probably take a dryer sheet to it so that way maybe it'll repel a little bit more. 
um, but I'm just using this duster here from the Dollar Tree to just kind of wipe everything down as quickly as I can and it'll be done in no time. Moving into my dining room, I'm just gonna get this cleaned up. As you see here, I've got some clothes that were hang drying on the back of the chairs. Um, that's something that I do because I don't like to hang my clothes on hangers while they're drying because it just creates those weird like lumps on the shoulders. So a lot of times I'll just hang them here on the chairs. I need to put a line outside uh, so I can hang things outdoors. That'd be really nice, even if I just put one up in my garage. Um, so we'll see, but I do like to air dry majority of my clothes. So, um, I also just wanted to update you a little bit on my dining room hunt. I told you guys a while back that I've been on the hunt for a new dining room table, uh, for a number of reasons. This one is broken, which is like the biggest reason. Um, and I'm looking for a bigger table that I can fit a lot more people. So, um, that is what I have been doing. I think I have found the one that I want and um, I am now hunting for chairs. I want a black chair. I have a pretty specific like type of chair in mind. So I keep looking every time I think I have one picked out, I see a different one. So we'll see, hopefully here in the next month or so, we'll finally make a decision and pull the trigger and get a new dining room table because this one, I'm done. I'm done with this bad boy. Moving into my kitchen, I'm going to start by cleaning off this island. It gets insane as I'm sure yours does too. So I'm going to Take some time to get everything put away where it belongs. We'll get everything cleaned up, get the dishes done, and this space will be done. Like I said, I did majority of this Friday night deep cleaning. I wiped down all of my appliances and everything. So this really is just gonna be a little bit of tidying. It'll be no big deal. Typically, I would call one of my kiddos in to do the dishes. Everybody has a different day of the week, so I'm never on dish duty. However, 
I do them a lot of times when it's like this. There's not much in here. The dishwasher was pretty much full. Just needed to finish filling it up, get it running. I had no problem doing it, but um, usually my kiddos are in charge of emptying the dishwasher and reloading it. And that's really helpful because this is my least favorite chore. <laughs> I do not enjoy doing the dishes at all, but not very many in here. Figured I'd get it done really quickly and we'll move on. about 7 30 at this point in the video and as you can see the sun is starting to set this is my favorite time to be outside on my front porch I just think that the sunrise the sunset is so beautiful and it does kind of set through our trees in the front yard so I'm going to take a minute to get all of the pollen off of our porch as you can see I mean there's so much pollen you guys it's <laughs> It's out of control, so I'm going to um, dust off as much as I can. I would also uh, typically grab like the blower, but I don't know. It was beautiful. I just figured this is good. Burn some calories. Go out here and sweep real quick. No big deal. And um, I was home alone, actually. Danny and the kids were over at his parents, so it was nice to just come out and enjoy the quiet and... Um, finish off my day. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything swept and we'll be ready to sit down and relax. that my friends brings us to the end of another Sunday reset I am so happy you chose to spend a little bit of your day with me today I hope you found this video to be motivating you were able to check some things off of your to-do list and I also hope that you're able to spend a little bit of time relaxing today I appreciate you spending some time with me if you are not subscribed already I would love to have you subscribe and come back for more I try to post three new videos every week it doesn't always happen but 
but I do my best and I would love to see you again in the near future. Until then, my friends, I hope you guys are having a gorgeous day and I'll see you very soon.